Hello everyone! As you already know, we're learning to create images using the Midjourney app. Just a reminder, we've already mastered the process of creating and using prompts. After that, I showed you the most popular requests used by photographers. All these supplementary materials you can download and use on your own. The download links are available in the description of this video. In this video, I'll show you the requests you can use to create art mediums images. This includes a wide range of materials such as paints, pencils, oil, watercolor, clay, stones, metals, and many others. These are the types of images we'll be creating today. Art mediums refer to various materials and tools used by artists to create works of art. There'll be images created with chalk. This type of art is called graffiti. These images are painted with watercolor. Next comes the work with oil paints. Here's how soft toys look like. This is drawn with a pencil. These items are made of wood. And here you see items made of clay. This is pastel art. And this is printmakers. Well, if you're interested, let's move on to the most interesting part and learn how to create such images ourselves. Well, let's get to work. Before you is a table with prompts that we'll use to create our images. In the first column, we see drawings created with chalk. They depict Walter White. He's a fictional character from the TV series Breaking Bad. We copy the prompt and move to Discord. We select the Imagine function and paste the copied text. Then we press the Enter button. The process of creating chalk drawings begins with outlines, adding color and details to bring them to life and make them expressive. And here's what we've got. A true portrait of Walter White. I like it. Moving on. Now let's create an image in the style of graffiti street art expressed through drawings and inscriptions on public surfaces. As Jack London said, streets are our newspapers, walls are our pages. Graffiti is the exclamation of the urban soul, its expression and protest. And now, let's move on to creating watercolour images. Watercolour, like a magical palette, embodies the subtlest experiences and feelings on canvas, turning the mundane into refined art of life. The difference of watercolour from other painting mediums lies in its application on paper, using water to create thin and transparent layers of paint. This gives watercolour its distinctive character and texture. Additionally, watercolour is known for its speed and fluidity, allowing artists to produce quick and impactful works. Now let's create an image using oil paints. The technique of painting with oil paints allows artists to create pictures with vibrant colors, deep tones, and rich textures. Rick Sanchez is a fictional character from the American animated series, Rick and Morty. Looks familiar, doesn't he? The next table starts with a column called fabric. Fabric is usually textile material used for sewing or creating various items, such as clothes, 
textile products, even toys. The prompt mentions crochet. Crochet is a skill that allows creating soft toys and other items that remind us of childhood and beauty. Pencil drawing. We've all seen street artists. Most of them are masters of drawing pencil portraits. The prompt mentions Emma Watson. She's an English actress, best known for her role as Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter films. Mid-Journey is a great specialist in creating such images, isn't it? Wood, in this sense, refers to wood as a material used by artists to create works of art. It can include wood carving, making sculptures from wood, drawing on wood, and other forms of art related to this material. We've got a very beautiful flower stand. Finally, we have clay. Refers to clay as a material used by artists to create works of art. It can include sculpting sculptures, making ceramics, pottery, and other forms of creativity using clay. Midjourney created this clay model of the throne from the series Game of Thrones. Well, my friends, we've explored the mind map for creating art mediums images. I'm sure the provided information was useful for you and you've got a detailed understanding of how to work in Midjourney using the provided mind map. In the next video, I'll show you another mind map titled Artists. This means that you'll be able to bring your ideas to life as if your works were created in the style of famous artists or in various artistic directions. It will be very interesting, so don't miss this video. And with that, I bid you farewell and wish you until our next meeting.